self-development. What is it? How important is it? Like, why is it useful? I ask my question, myself these questions like in my early life, and I feel like I've been journeying, journeying through self-development since, honestly, you know, maybe the age of like 11 or 12. I think my self-development um, really started happening, you know, when my mom passed. When I had to, you know, I went from this, you know, we didn't have a great life. We didn't have an amazing, you know, whatever life. But overall, like, you know, mom provides for you. And at some point, you know, after she passed, like, a lot of things changed. A lot of things um, in my life just weren't the same. I didn't feel like I had a person that I could talk to. Uh, I didn't feel like I fit in, like I was an art kid. Uh, I didn't have, uh, you know, I didn't feel, I felt as far as like my siblings went, I didn't feel a part of the family. You know, I always felt like the youngest, the, the, the runt type of thing, that feeling. Uh, when it came to, you know, later on, when it came to trying to date, I always felt uh, inadequate. I always felt as though I couldn't, like it was impossible for me to do, for me to kind of like find a person. When it came to school, I struggled heavily. I got D's and F's for the most part, barely passing uh, through most of my classes. And a lot of the time I just found solace in, in the, the, the art room. And so by the time I was like almost out of high school, I felt like a complete failure. I felt terrible. I felt as though everyone around me was moving up the ladder and going somewhere. And I felt as though I was just, I wasn't going anywhere. And that's a terrible feeling, you know, to feel within yourself, to have that and to hold that, you know, and I also didn't really have parents that I could talk to about that. You know, I, I ended up on in the foster care system. Yes, I had foster parents, but at some point in time, you know, when you become, when you're a teenager, you start to learn to kind of hold things in for fear of rejection or for fear of, mis you know, being misunderstood, or maybe you don't even have the confidence, or maybe you can't even articulate what you're feeling. And I had all of that. Um, it, I remember going to Barnes and Noble and looking at, uh, books about how to be happy or books on, you know, personal development. Um, not even personal development, but like productivity, sorry, not personal development, productivity. And I think that was the first glimpse, the first moment I had in seeing that there were other people that thought like me or felt like me in these books. Um, and again, when I was going, when I was in school, I was terrible at reading. So I also thought that like even picking up a book, I was like, this is an embarrassment. Like I'm going to take like days and months or whatever to read this book. It felt so crippling. But the more and more that I dove deeper into myself, the more confident I became in myself. And I think self-development is all of that. As you look around, you know, a lot of times you don't need certain things until you're there, right? For instance, when I, when I was a father, you know, when I, find, when I became a father, like all of a sudden now I kind of needed a lot of information about parenthood and like how can I do these things and I had instincts about how I wanted to raise my kids but there was a plethora of books and plethora of knowledge out there of like how to parent and what to do and all these things uh, and I think that that's beautiful I think it's amazing that we can take you know somebody's 10 years a decade of someone's life condense it into this tiny little book that you can read in an afternoon or two or listen to, you know, in a, 
an afternoon or two. I think it's beautiful that we now have these podcasts that we can literally, we can work, right? We're getting paid to work. This is what's crazy. This is why I'm like, I'm all about optimizing my time, but like you get paid to work, but then you also get paid to learn in both areas, right? You're working and then you're listening to a podcast about depression or about, uh, you know, time management or about like stocks or whatever, or, you know, finance. And I think that that is the craziest thing in the world. And I think that YouTube has brought that on. I think that, you know, Audible's brought that on, you know, bookstores, all that stuff has enabled us to grow ourselves while also providing for our kids, our family. And I think, you know, that's why self-development is so important to me. Like, I, I, I love the fact that I can look at something from a different lens, a different frame, and a lot of times it'll be the unlock. I'll have an answer behind it. And I don't think that you can do that without really looking internally and improving yourself and working on yourself. A lot of times if you want to attract, a, you know, a mate, a person, if you want to attract a job, you want to attract whatever, you have to level up yourself for that to happen, not expect them to lower their their expectations or lower what it is. You gotta level up. I plan to talk a lot more about like self-development on this channel. Uh, for any of my OGs, my people on here, <laughs> if you've made it this far, yeah, I've gone back and forth between like whether I should talk about filming because I love filming or I should talk about parenting because I love parenting like all these different things that I could do. And I think my heart is continuing to just kind of drive me towards like talking about personal development. Personal development's so wide. There's so many things that we can talk about. I've got a list on here of, of kind of, you know, questions that I'll be answering over the next, you know, bit. So this will just give you a little preview of what we'll, what this channel will kind of offer as we pr proceed into the future. Uh, how can I set meaningful goals? What are the best strategies for building self-discipline? How do I identify my strengths and weaknesses? How can I overcome procrastination? What is the best way to build confidence? Those are just a few of a hundred ideas of questions that I want to answer over the course of this. Um, so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in and like hearing and talking, like please press the subscribe button, like sub, so that we can hang out together, build a community around self-development. Uh, and I'd love to hear, like if you have any, any questions you'd like me to answer or anything that you wanna add to this conversation, make sure to add it in the comments below. All right, I appreciate you guys so much. You're amazing. <laughs> Take care, bye.